Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be opening up here a gift edition bundle or rather a gift bundle for Crimson Vow. This is a Magic the Gathering product, so it's going to be very interesting to actually open this up. Now, this is already quite an old set, Crimson Vow. I mean, this is the set that I've become particularly interested in the most. And as a result, it's just something that I've been trying to get my hands on a lot more than a lot of the other sets that have actually come out after this one. But with that being said, there is one thing to note, and that is the fact that this is a gift bundle, not just a regular bundle. So for any of you guys who might be familiar with Pokemon, there is the Elite Trainer Boxes, where you get multiple packs within a particular set. And for that, it's nice and all, but with Magic the Gathering, the equivalent would be just a regular set bundle. But this one is a gift bundle. Now, the distinguishing factor here is that the gift bundle includes a few different extras in here. For example, we get one additional collector booster, which is something that is very unique only to Magic itself, where a collector booster by itself is worth about $30 to $40 each, at least over here in Australia. So the fact that I only paid $58 for this and you're getting one collector booster on top of the seven or eight uh, regular draft boosters or set boosters in here, it's a huge value that's been gained just from buying this particular product. So I intend to actually buy more of these uh, if possible, but for the time being, I only have one for today. Uh, just definitely very excited about this, but you know leave your thoughts down below as to what you think about these uh, Gift editions as well. I mean these are definitely fantastic, but uh, I'm just hoping maybe you will get some great pulls, but we'll find out it will also be my first time opening up a um, Collector booster as well. So looking forward to that, but without further ado, let's just get this opened up Alright, so here it is. Uh, another thing I could actually compare this to is when Yu-Gi-Oh used to do those deluxe editions. Obviously that was a long time ago, but uh, nevertheless it would be a similar case here. Uh, so we're just going to pop it open, so we just simply slide this out. Um, inside we have, I guess this here. You could technically open this up and reveal kind of like a poster to it, but uh, I guess that's it for the time being. I'll set that aside for now. We have over here specifically uh, this, which is kind of like a wedding invitation. So definitely fantastic, at least it's particular to this set. Uh, you obviously have our RSVP, definitely very nice here. But with that being said, I'm just gonna put this away for now and we're gonna take a look at what's over here. So seems like we get a box here, very nice. Uh, not too sure what's actually in here. It might just be an empty box here, yeah, it is just an empty box, but interestingly you could use this as storage, which is really nice. Uh, kind of just to add the level to it so that you could store it in, but that's okay, it's just the box we want anyway. This is just a nice additional storage box. So I'll set that aside as well. Now let's see here, we have this very nice artwork of Olivia herself, which is fantastic of course. The other side shows the exact same thing. But we're going to get this box open right up. Um, looks like there's nothing else in there, which is fine. But we're going to put that aside. And we're going to take a look and see what's inside. So firstly, we have this very nice dice here. Or 20-sided or die. Where I have to say that the numbers are kind of... I don't know, it's a little too blended. Might be a little hard to see. Um, it doesn't really do too much justice as well for the camera. I mean, it definitely looks a bit more clear uh, outside of the camera, but even so, it's not great. Uh, but nevertheless, it's fine. It's a nice translucent plastic or resin die. Uh, but we'll set that aside for now. I'll uh, have some space over here, which is okay. Uh, we have over here this, which is, I guess, an extra pack of stuff. Um, let's see, it says here it is Alt Art Traditional Foil, uh, Cigar to Summon, 
uh, which I would have to assume would be a bunch of tokens behind, but we'll get to that later. We also get some lands as well. So these are just regular traditional lands, uh, 20 traditional foils and 20 regular basic lands. That's fantastic, actually. Uh, we also have over here all of this. So let me just get this out. This here is just a bunch of you know the usual pamphlets that give you a bit of information about it but over here obviously we have our collector booster keep in mind this by itself is worth 30 to 40 dollars very expensive but you can get very amazing cards in here we will be opening that up later but uh, over here on the inside which by the way this is just the rest of the box um, can I move that out? Well, look at that, a nice extra compartment as well. So this is very well designed, allowing you to store quite a few things in here and even separate it. Uh, so yeah, definitely quite nice. Ultimately, you get the storage box yourself as well, just to use uh, for your own benefits to store your cards. But here are the packs. We have over here eight packs, eight set boosters as well. Set boosters are also more expensive than draft boosters. So that's a huge bonus there. I mean, only by one or two dollars, but even so, you're getting your money's worth. I mean, even seven set boosters is already more than $58, at least over here in Australia. So with that being said, paying $58 for this box, you get all of these things, you get that. These are all just bonuses in there, on top of the dice, on top of the box itself. Just amazing, absolutely great value here. So with that being said, uh, I don't think I need to open up the lands, though we're going to take a look anyway because there are going to be foil lands. So I am wondering if the lands are going to be anything particularly special, at least particular to the Crimson Vow set itself. So let's just take a look here. It does look like regulars right now. Um, nothing particularly special at the moment. Right, so these just look like regular common lands, I mean, or non-foil lands. So I am assuming the lands might actually be in here, the foiled ones. So it's not necessarily tokens, we only get one of Sigata's summons, but that's okay. It is an alt art, which is definitely something to consider as of value, as it would be exclusive to this particular product itself, technically. But uh, yeah, let's just see what the rest of this is. It should all be just foil lands. So here we have our Sigata Summon. So let me just focus up here. Uh, definitely looks really amazing, of course. But yeah, there we go. So all of these here are foil lands, which is quite fantastic if you just want to bling out your deck. So quite glad about this. And you get 20 of these as well. So uh, that's pretty much going to bling out one of your decks, assuming you're playing uh, a standard deck. But of course, for my case, I am hoping to build it in Commander instead. Uh, but that's okay, you know, I might eventually try out a uh, standard if I accumulate enough cards. However, let's now open up all these packs and see what we get. So first pack, uh, let's just hope for the best. I mean, to be honest, I'm okay already with uh, what we actually have here. Uh, regardless of what we pull, this is fantastic value because packs is really just a matter of luck and you can't really do anything about that. Um, looks like we have this nice signed edition card. I don't know what the significance of this is. Uh, do we get this in every single pack? I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, I definitely love it. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure about this, so let me know if this is unique, but I guess we'll find out anyway. Uh, but with that being said, let's see what we have here. We have mountains, um, a few other interesting things here. Obviously, I'm not going to go through every single card together like that by itself. Otherwise, that would take a long time. But it looks like that's not a foil, no. But this here is by invitation only. That is our rare. And then we have over here a foil, which is a lantern be bearer. Lantern bearer, very nice. Sorry about that, let me just focus up right there. Yeah, not too bad, so that's our start for now. I wouldn't particularly say that's anything too special, but we'll set that aside, and let's open up the next one, and find out what we have. So, let's get this opened up, and oh, another art card over here. 
but this one is not signed. The other one is actually uh, signed, so that's definitely very different. But uh, the back just looks like a regular one as well. Put that aside, we have our planes, which is a foil. Fantastic, absolutely loving that. I uh, always want foils for lands just because it's nice to bling out your deck a bit. Uh, we do have an uncommon here, which is nice as well. Um, oh, we have a mythic. So over here, this is Faithbound Judge. I uh, don't necessarily know the value of this. However, that is a defender. It's flying and vigilance as well. Uh, definitely fantastic. For a three drop, uh, that's very nice. You can see that there's the night mode as well, which is uh, Sinner's Judgment. Uh, definitely very fantastic there. Uh, we also have over here Markov Waltzer, which is a foil uncommon. Uh, can't complain about that. And we get a treasure. So uh, not too bad for the second one as well. But let's move on. Say so the second one's definitely a lot better in this case. So let's find out what else we can actually get. So our next pack here, we have another art card, which is fantastic. Uh, I don't see any signage on it. Yep, just uh, something regular there. Uh, here's our regular land, of course, but what do we have in this one? Let's find out. We have over here another rare Hopeful Initiate, and we have our Foil Common, which is uh, a Braid. Uh, not too bad. That's um, not as great as the one before that. I think the one before that was definitely really amazing. So let's move on to the fourth pack and let's find out what we have in here. Alright. Definitely getting very exciting, of course. But let's see. This one here, again, no signage on it, but that's okay. Uh, just another art card. I am definitely really loving these art cards. They're very unique for what they are. Can act as great tokens as well for the deck. So let's find out what we have here. Um, we have a, ooh, is that a mythic? That is, that is a mythic. That is a Donal Herald of Wings. Fantastic pull there. We also have a regular rare, which is a Lantern Flare. And finally, we have over here our Cloaked Cadet as our foil. Fantastic, with a blood token, which is great because I am building a vampire deck anyway. So that's fantastic, but let's move on to our fifth pack and find out what else we can actually get here. Uh, absolutely loving this. Another art card looking really fantastic there. Uh, but let's keep going and see what we have. So what else is there? Markov Waltzer, which we had before. Another mythic, we have uh, Maniform Hellkite. Uh, fantastic card. And we have a foil uh, crushing canopy. So yeah, that's not too bad. And plus a venerated teacher, just a regular card there. But yeah, not too bad at all. We've, uh, I think we've pulled three mythics already. That's that's definitely already great progress, great, uh, fantastic value there. But you guys have to tell me what the actual value of the individual cards are, as I don't know too much about this particular set. Uh, that is a beautiful piece of art for uh, land itself, so that's fantastic there for mountains, but we'll put that aside, we have some more cards here, planes, uh, let's see what do we have in this particular one, oh, Bloodsworn Squire, which obviously there's another one here, Bloodsworn Knight, nice, uh, we have Audric, Blood Cursed, wow, that is fantastic, now if you guys are actually catching up on the lore, uh, the story of what happens to Audric, in Crimson Vow is definitely quite crazy. Uh, so yeah, quite a big change. But uh, we also have here Olivia's Attendant, which is another rare as well. So that's two rares, plus we have our Foil Retrieve. So yeah, not too bad. Definitely very nice there. Two packs left, let's find out what we have here. All right, I'll try and pry this open. We have another art card, very beautiful. Definitely fantastic. We have our foil land. Oh, very nice here for mountain. Uh, but let's move on and see what else we can get in this. Um, let's find out. Alluring Soldier is Deadly Dancer. Oh, very nice. Uh, but we also have here uh, Mirror Hall Mimic, which is our rare. And it is Ghastly Mimicry. Very nice. Uh, we also have here our Foil Magma Pamela, and we have an Insect Token, which is 
Uh, not too bad at all. But let's move on here to our final pack of the set booster and then we'll move on to the collector booster later on. But let's find out what we have in this one. We have over here uh, a very nice carriage for the art card. Very nice here. Honeymoon hearse. And let's move on and find out what we have in this particular set. Let's see. We have the Radiant Grace, which uh, becomes Radiant Restraints. Lantern Bearer, which becomes Lantern's Lift. We have uh, Markov Warzer, and we have Glorious Sunrise as our regular rare. And we have a Foil Reckless Impulse, which is not too bad at all. Um, we also have some really interesting things over here. Okay. Very different, but overall those were our pulls from the set boosters. Definitely fantastic, but we have the one extra pack of the collector's boosters, so very excited about this one. Um, let's find out what we get. I believe this is the one where we could potentially get a lot of value. Definitely feels different because uh, the pack definitely seems to have a lot more resistance in terms of opening. Wow, that's pretty crazy. But see, I'm trying to be careful as well in terms of opening this because I don't want to potentially damage the cards. But it seems really tough to break it open. But let's find out. I believe everything is a foil. I'm not too sure, but let's find out. So first card we have here is let me just focus up. Evolving Wilds as our foil. We have here Grizzly Ritual, another foil, Traveling Minister, Stitch Assistant, we have Storm Chaser Drake, we have our Witness the Future, we have Forest, which is fantastic, looking really good here in foil, of course. We have uh, Hamlet Vanguard, also a foil. We have uh, Drog Coal Reinforcements, Reinforcements are uh, very nice here. Uh, this is not a foil. And then we have here uh, Change of Fortune, which is also very nice. We can see it's definitely nice here to have extended artwork. Um, might be just something unique to this, but we have uh, Wedding Security, also not a foil, just a regular card here. Uh, Van Helsing's Holy Ward, uh, very nice, the extended artwork again. Um, we have over here Falcon Wrath Forebear, just uh, very unique bordering here for this particular one. And we have uh, Restless Bloodseeker, which is uh, the day form, which we have over here. Blood Soaked Reveler, which is the night mode, very nice. Uh, foil, which is very interesting that they're able to print foil on both sides. Or we have our Mythic Cultivator Colossus, very nice here. Yeah? Uh, extended art as well. And we have our Foil Spirit Token which is uh, not too bad at all. Oh, and behind there, there is also an insect token as well, also in foil. So yeah, that was pretty much it for today's uh, gift bundle edition opening. I definitely had a lot of fun opening this up, but let me know your thoughts about it. Let me know your thoughts about this particular product in general. Is it actually that good? Because uh, I think this product was $58 for me, whereas the regular bundle for Crimson Vow um, is $51. So there's a $7 difference. However, you get a booster, a collector booster in this particular one here. So definitely fantastic. Uh, definitely great value. I'm really happy about this. Um, just looking forward to getting more of these ones. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. But in the meantime, thanks for joining me today. I hope to see you again in the next video. Till then, I hope you all have a great day.